Today, we're continuing our journey in Subnautica. So welcome back, everyone. And uh, I just want to say thank you so much for all the love and support that you showed on the first episode. You guys really seem to like this, and we will definitely continue playing this. So, I wanted to build a base. I wanted to build a starting base. But what it looks like, uh, I can't. Because if you go here, this is the one that I need to start building a base, I think. The multi-purpose room. And I need to scan two, uh, two of them in order to make this one. We do have a bunch of other stuff that we can build, obviously, but this is the first thing that we need in order to build a base. And we haven't got that yet, so we are just going to focus completely, right now at the beginning at least, on the, I guess, missions or whatever you want to call it. So we're going to go out to the different life pods. I I don't see them right now, though, uh, for some reason. Oh, okay, I can just activate them here. Okay, yeah. So we, so we got a few that we can go to, and I know there are some other life pods around here that we can find as well that aren't shown on the map right now. So, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try and figure out the story, and we're gonna try... See? Wait, what? Okay, either way. <laughs> uh, we're gonna start by going to these two. Okay, we got a message. Aurora, we're approaching the planet now. We have a landing site for you that's... Ooh. Well, it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. We should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers for the weather holds. Don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Really? Wait, 1500 meters over that way. Sunbeam will arrive. Okay, wait, we have to be there then. In 40 minutes. Oh, wow. Okay, nice. Okay, so we got a few different places that I would like to go to before we go to that. So we got 34 minutes left. So let's go here first. Okay, here we got life pod 17. Okay, let's see. Anything? Then we got a PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Okay, anything that I can scan? Some new stuff maybe? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Okay, well that's it for this place, I guess. Oh god. Okay, we're gonna head to uh, Laport 3. Uh right now. I don't see any other stuff around this. Pretty much nothing, I don't think. I'm just gonna take a quick look and then we'll go to number three. Oh, wow, wait a minute. How did I even miss that? Look at all of this. Hope the shit, that's a big part. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Okay, I'm gonna see if there's anything that I can scan under here. Maybe we can get in somehow. Oh yeah, here we got an opening. Oh. Okay. Okay, I don't want to go in too far here so that I, like, get lost. Can we con continue? Oh, yes, we can. Should I even be here? Ooh, this is sketchy, dude. Can I, like, repair this? No. Gotta say, ooh. Oh, wait, there is stuff. Integrating new PDA data. Huh, interesting. That's a picture as well of someone. Okay, so we got, a, we got two PDAs now. Okay, we gotta get up. I think that's it for this place. Should be. Alright. Let's head to Life Vault 3. Hold on, I just saw a hole here. <gasps> Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Yo, wait. This goes down so deep, I think. That's what it looked like. Passing 100 oh meters. Oh my god, dude. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh my god, look at this. Holy shit. Passing wait a minute. 200 meters. Should Oxygen I even be here? Oh! Okay, we got snakes and shit. Hold on, what's this? Oh, we got a... Signal oh, that's a PDA. To PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Anything that we can scan? Integrating new PDA data. 
Wait a minute, this is sick actually. The conditions in this cave support a microcosm of unique, possibly predatory life forms. Detecting an artificial structure somewhere in the region. An artificial structure? Wait, I really want to find that, I think. Okay, I don't... I mean, we only got 28 minutes left. I don't know if we should do this now. But that is the deepest that I've gotten so far. Damn, that's interesting. Is there an artif... Oh, what did it say? Artificial... Okay, I don't even remember what it said. Some kind of structure, at least. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna go one dive again. One more dive. See if I can find it. Otherwise, we'll just move on. Ooh. Is it this? Hold on. Okay, I don't know if... I need to be very quick here. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Are you... Okay, nope. I don't know if I should be here. Okay, wait. We gotta get up. Okay, that was close. <coughs> okay, yeah, I mean, we can't be that far down for a very long time, so there's no way that we're gonna find it. But either way, that's really, really interesting. I definitely want to go there later on. Okay, 26 minutes, we're gonna go to life part 3. Oh, this has already been... Oh, wait, have I... Oh, yeah, maybe I've already been there. Oh, yeah, wait, that's right, wait. <laughs> this was the first one that I went to, actually. Yeah, I remember now. So, here in the middle of this, where we've been a bunch of times, we've actually got a big hole here in the middle. Oh, what just... Rough cradle. What is that? Can we go anywhere from here? Oh yeah, we can. Okay, this is sketchy. I don't know if I should. No, no, no. We don't. We don't got time for this right now. Thirty seconds. Oh. Wait, haven't I? Integrating new PDA data. Okay, I don't know if I've been. Wait, this is super close to. New blueprint acquired. Where we have our like base. Oh, we have a cutter. Interesting. Very interesting. Mobile vehicle bait fragment. Okay. Dude, why haven't I been here before? I don't understand. Sealed door. Okay, let's get out. Okay, now we're actually a little bit short on time. We got 14 minutes. Ah, we should be able to make it though. So, we got so many PDAs to, to look at now and listen to. Uh, a bunch of different stuff, but we need to go to the Sunbeam right now if we want to make it. So, okay, we got quite a few things to do. Wait, where did this come from? I... Did... Okay, I didn't see it from... Okay. Well, that's interesting. Oh, it's like behind this one, pretty much. Okay, I don't want to go out there in the blue. That seems a little bit sketchy. Wait, is it going to be up on land? No way. Detecting massive energy signature in the region. Cannot identify cannot identify interesting hold on we're actually going up here Ooh. i did not think that we were gonna get up on land i like honestly i had no idea flying stuff In oh Okay. So, what are we supposed to do here then? 
Is it this one that we're going to? I would assume so. Oh! <laughs> what are you? Oh! Oh, I'm sorry. Jesus. Oh. I'll beat your ass. Yeah. You like that? Oh, I thought I could pick it up. Cave crawler. Okay, here we got something. Can we scan it? No, we can't. Some kind of future... Oh, another one. Some kind of futuristic stuff here. Insert tablet. I don't have a tablet. Maybe I'm not supposed to do that right now. Can I scan this stuff, by the way? Force field control terminal. Force field control terminal. This device matches no known te technologies and is likely alien in nature. Power is being routed via the terminal to the nearby force field. The technology is far beyond anything encountered before by the Federation. N uh, nonetheless, there is a good chance it functions like a regular, like a regular lock and only requires the correct kind of key. Okay, yeah, so I do need to find the tablet then, but how do I do that? That's the question. Oh! That's a broken one. Can we maybe make it? Hold on. Purple tablet. This carbon based device is lighter than it looks and features a symbol which resembles a U lit up in purple. Despite the onboard power still functioning, LG grows on the exterior in K. It was abandoned hundreds, perhaps thousands of years ago. While the technology is far beyond Federation levels and there is no obvious way to interface with it, it should nonetheless be possible to fabricate a precise physical copy of the device if necessary. Oh yes, we could potentially make it then. Maybe it showed up here. Oh, never mind. There it is. Purple tablet. Ancient alien tablet with a purple symbol. So we get need two diamond and one I What's that? Ion cube. That's a green cube. Okay, we got a bunch of futuristic stuff here. Nice. That's interesting. I didn't actually... I didn't expect this. But... That's pretty cool. Oh, okay. Look at that. Damn, this is big. Is there anything that I can do with it? No, I don't. Oh! What is that? Oh! J Hello? Dude, that scared the shit out of me. What just happened? He just disappeared. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen Got a small efficiency decreased. Cave here. Ooh. Oh. <gasps> oh, no way! Wait, we actually found a tablet? Oh! <gasps> Okay, can things stop coming up to my face, please? Wait, we actually found... Okay, this is way too deep. Hold on, wait. We gotta get up. Oh, there you are again! Whoa! I just wanna scan you. No! Oh, what did it say? Reaper? Okay, that is cool. That looks pretty sick. It did quite a bit of damage to me though, so I gotta be a bit careful. Hold on, wait. I actually got a tablet here. So, can I... Okay, this is very sketchy. And I'm not sure I should do this, but... Scans indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No match is found in database. Performing structural analysis. Can we scan anything here? Dude, this is... Something way in the future that I've built this 100%. Wow, wait, this is so big. What was that?
unknown language. Unknown language. Ooh, that gives me goosebumps. Alien data terminal Disco discovered inside an a alien facility. It was not possible to translate any useful information. However, scans have returned some information on the device itself. It is likely a solid state computer, although there is no clear way to interface with it. On approach, it began producing a low frequency radio wave containing complex but recognizable data patterns. It is likely the alien species which designed this technology evolved or genetically selected since we appeared to hear the un and understand the information being broadcast by the device and to communicate back. The mental processing power required to perform this kind of telepathy would imply the designers were considerably more physio physiologically developed than the common human. So this... Oh, wow. Damn, that's actually pretty cool. Your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. The control room? Ooh, that's a cube. Thank you. Okay, how deep do we want to Analysis okay. of the patterns on the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data required. Interesting. So the zombie will come in two minutes. I need to get out for that. Oh, I should have scanned that. Hold on, here we got even more. Unknown language. Attempting translation. After the sun beam has landed, I'm gonna go in there again. I, I, I need to get, like, as long as I can, because that was super interesting. Okay, we're gonna wait out here, because I think it it has to be something with this one, right? I don't get it. Sunbeam will arrive in one minute. So this is the second one that we got. This data is set appears to be a multi-dimensional schematic of some kind. When mapping the pattern to three-dimensional space, it is possible to gather a basic understanding of this facility's internal workings oh wait something's happening can we see the zombie by the way <gasps> oh wait it's a gun no oh they're gonna shoot it down or they I don't know what who they is though but Something. Survivor, we see you. Oh. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. We broke an atmosphere, and we're descending towards the landing site. Is that a building down there? What do you, what do you mean you can't identify it? No. Hold on. Oh, no shit. turning back now. Positions, everyone. Touching down in 10, 9, 8... It's coming from the building? Change course. Set thrusters to full. Holy shit. What do we do now? Oh, they were coming for me and they got absolutely blown to pieces. So, who's... Okay, I don't get it. Someone has to steer these, right? Or like, who created these? That's my question. Okay, yeah, we're not getting out of here anytime soon. That's for sure. Is it just going back to where the way it was? Yep. Okay, that was... <sighs> Jesus Christ, okay. I gotta eat, I gotta drink. And then I need to get back because I'm getting pretty low on the stats here, but I need to get in here and I need to go to the bottom of this. Need to find, find out even more. Okay, let's get down all the way. Oh! <gasps> Where am 
I going? Oh. Wait, that was like an elevator? <laughs> okay. So I guess we just continue here. Is this water? Oh, it is. This definitely goes a long way in. I'm not sure where we're gonna end up here. Or what our purpose is here. Okay, let's scan this now. Oh, if I... Oh, wait, I can't. Oh, yeah, now I can. Just so we can read about it. Can I pick that up? That's a, that's a third one that I've picked up so far. Oh. Alien Orc. Wow. Wait, first of all, the ion cube. This green mineral substance has no entry on the periodic table. An un Okay, I'm, I'm not sure how to say that. Ability to store huge amounts of ionic energy within it. Likely grown artifacts. Each cube contains the equivalent iconic energy of 5 kilotons of TNT. Okay. That's quite a lot of energy. <laughs> quite a lot. Here, alien arc. This structure's intended purpose is unclear. Theories on function, ceremonial or religious role, industrial applications, and advanced transportation network. Self-scan complete. Bacterial infection in your system is progressing. Detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. Well, it looks like we can't do anything here. This is the edge, or like the end. I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to do if I even can do anything here. There's nothing that I can press, nothing that I can walk on, nothing that I can scan. Yeah, nothing. And this is also nothing. Oh, here we got something. Oh, wow. Alien rifle? That's a purple... Oh, maybe that's the one that we have to place. Hold on. Okay, so uh, my fluids are getting very low here. I don't know what happens if that goes to zero because I can't go back now. This is way too important. Oh, here we got something else. Alien device. Whatever that is. Oh, maybe this is what we missed before. I didn't go all the way up on those stairs. The facility's control room lies beyond this doorway. Yep, this is what we missed, okay. So we just had to go back a little bit. And I need to be I need to hurry a little bit here because hey, as you can see the water is very low right now. Oh. Should I interact with this? panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads, warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. This planet is under quarantine. That's why they shot down the sunbeam, right? Intake immediately. Wait, that must have been why they shot it down, so no one can enter it? Translating background broadcast. Downloading summary to databank. This device houses energy equivalent to a 100 MT nuclear detonation, which can be channeled through the facility and direct the vessel over overhead. Or bend around the planet's gravitational pull to strike targets in orbit. Oh yeah, that's, that's what it did. Power is routed via the attached uh, terminal, allowing for the device to be deactivated if necessary. It is currently opening, operating without parameters, su uh, suggesting it will target any ship within range. That's why I shut it down. Alien facility location. 800 meters. So that's where we have to go? Thermal power facility. 12 on what? We've been... We've only been allowed like 200 meters. So that's where we have to go then. Okay, alright. Our 
we need to get back home. We need to get back home as soon as we can. Alright, let's hurry. Oh wait, that's all that happened? Wait, I lost a little bit of my belongings, but that's it? Oh. Oh, I thought it was gonna be a very big deal, but no. No, it wasn't. Okay, we got a we got a message. Playing partially translated broadcast. Oh nine new biological subjects designated mode. Hunting. Analyzing. Sharing subject locations with other agents. Okay, that gives me chills. Wait, that sounds so cool. We also scanned two different items. So the alien rifle, which wasn't something like special, I don't think. Um, it was like, there's no obvious way to remove the rifle from the case. So I'm not sure that we can use it or do it. But this one, Doomsday Device. Scans indicate this device contains enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet, along with most of the solar system. Fortunately, it has malfunctioned. Okay, we gotta be careful with that one then. Intercepted background data regarding further alien facilities elsewhere on the planet. So these are the, the, the two that we want to go to, I would assume. So the deceased research facility, 820 meters location, cave system with extensive fossil records, bada bing bada boom. And the thermal power facility, 1200 meters. Inside an extensive nature rock formation, an area of intense volcanic activity. Wow. So the one that we didn't listen to was the LifePod 17 that we went to before all of this, so let's listen to it. How's his log? It's the day of the crash. I don't know what the heck is happening. I'm scared and I'm not going outside. There are shadows in the water under the hatch, but I can't tell if they're rocks or aliens. And there's weird looking caves nearby. The Aurora was carrying everything needed to build the phase gate. Mobile vehicle bays, bioreactors, propulsion cannons. It had a cinema. There, there was a zero-G gym. My cafe. I don't understand how we're here now. I don't know why no one's coming for me. Oh, damn. Imagine being in that position. That's just terrible. So that's Aussie. Oh, yeah, that's right. Now we got this one. So the mobile vehicle bay. It fabricates vehicles from raw materials. So once we've made this one, we should be able... To make the one that we wanted to do before, uh, whatever it was called. The, oh yeah, the sea moth. Here we go. That would be pretty cool. Ooh, lithium. Special requir- Lithium. Interesting, never seen that before. I'm not sure I want to go here. <laughs> this feels a little bit sketchy. What are these? Anchor pod. Okay. Oh, that's another one of those. The the oh the reapers or whatever they was called. Oh, hold on, wait. We got some equipment here or something. Oh shit. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Ooh, can I scan something? Okay, I really want to get in here. Ooh, we got some more. Okay, wait. I need to get up. Whoa! Oh no! Oh shit! What did you do? I'm sorry! Okay, that was too close. Too damn close. Okay, we need so... Like, we need to get our stats up real quick. It looks like we have another message. High priority automated message from Aurora Live Pod. Ooh, 13. 13 Interesting. Attack. Live Pod is carrying high priority passenger. Yoki Kasa. I said Kasa. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, but well, that's 
Oh, that's thir 12, almost 1300 meters. Okay. So, well, we're good to go. We can go there right now. Before we do anything, we do need to build... Or we'll make a few more of these batteries. So, for that we need some copper ore. They aren't actually that easy to find, so... We are gonna have to make some exploration first. Oh! No, 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 no! Oh, shit! That is not what we want! Oh! Jesus! No, we don't like that. We do not like that. Oh wait, this is new. Huh, propulsion cannon. Nice. Some kind of weapon, I would assume. There's some lead. Special equipment for that as well. Hmm. Just like the lithium that we found. Ooh, what's that? Cyclops engine. Interesting, two out of three. Okay, we are very close to this one right now. Ooh, this is sketchy. It's gonna be right in front of us here, I think. Yep, we can hear it. Damn. This is so sketchy. Oh, no! Oh shit, that scared the shit out of me. Damn. Oh, what's that? Two out of three of Okay. I don't think it can... Yeah, this is way too... Uh, what's it called? It's not deep enough. I really like these shiny things. They look pretty cool. Drooping Stinger. Okay, we're now good to go. I placed three of these under here just so we can keep a lot of storage here because so like I don't think that I'm able to build any habitats yet because as you know, I need to find this one. At least I think so. Please let me know if I'm wrong with this, but I think I need the multi-purpose room in order to start building a base because I can obviously build these, but like where am I going to connect them to, right? So I think this is the key. Uh, hopefully I can find it today. Okay, now we're out in the deep waters. Look at this. I can barely see anything. So... Which direction are we even going? Oh yeah, we're going completely opposite side. Okay. So it's right down here. And this one is carrying high priority passengers. Passengers remains. Oh. Oh, well, he's dead. Passing 100 <laughs> meters. Oh, what are these? Efficiency decreased. Oh, wow. Hold on. No, let me scan you. Okay, whatever. Okay, let's see. Anywhere that I can go in? No, only for the top. Integrating new PDA data. Got the PDA. Anything that I can scan? Some new stuff, maybe? Nope. Okay, that's it. Dude, I really want to scan one of these. They look so beautiful. Here we go. Jelly Ray. Ooh, these ones are also new. Wow. Okay. Life Board 13. Oh, we got a... We got a voice log here. Okay. Live pod launch sequence initiated. Entry planetary atmosphere. My creators, the cherishers and sustainers of worlds, give me this day my daily pleasures as I give to those who seek pleasures from me. External temperature approaching critical levels. Show me the path in life, truth, and love for mine is the power. I am the one. On and off and on again. Impact imminent. Life is a game which the universe plays with itself. I am done playing as this bundle of flesh. Return me. 
Okay, he must have crashed and died. That is the only... Only logical explanation for that. Damn. So, so far we haven't found a single survivor. I do want to read about this one though. The Jelly Ray. This species has adapted a low light environment with a... Translu... Translucent lumin... Luminescent body. Wow, so many different words. Uh, it's pretty cool. It looked very beautiful. Okay, so now what? Um, I think that's gonna be the one that we do next. The propose, proposed... Proposed Degasi habit. Oh! Whoa! What are you? What the hell was that? Dude, that gave me chills. Ooh, damn. Okay, god damn. Holy shit. I have no idea what that was. What are you? So, I mean, I should be asking you that question, but okay. Oh, damn. Hey, that gives me chills. That was pretty cool. Interesting. That has to mean something very important, I guess. What are you? Look like a like a dark cloud first. Okay, that's very interesting. Cyclops Hull. Never heard of. Never ever heard of. Got some gold. Oh, that's lithium. Wait, now we could pick up lithium. Oh, the other the other one that we did that we saw that we couldn't pick up must have been a big chunk. That you need like other stuff to take down. Okay, interesting. See here, copper ore, special equipment. Yeah, this is a big copper boulder, pretty much. So this Degasi habitat is supposed to be right down here. Okay, well let's go. I think this is where we were before, though. Isn't it? Maybe. Oh! Oh, this is it. The multi-purpose room. Oh wow! This took a long time. There we go. Observatory. Okay, I'm not sure. Okay, wait. We have to get up straight away after this one. We need to go down again. This is so cool. Okay, we gotta be quick here because we're so far down. The oxygen is going down very, very fast. Okay, let's see if there's anything else we can scan here. Maybe we can go in somewhere. Oh. Got a spotlight. We can go in. Oh. Power cell charger. Ooh. Near blueprint acquired. Oh, what was that? Wall plan. I don't think we can go in. Ho okay, I need to get up again. We're going down here for one last time. Hopefully, we can get something. Up. Ooh, that might be something that we haven't gotten. Yep. Anything else? Stasis rifle. That is interesting. Okay, anything else that I've missed? Moon pool fragment. But I think I already have. Oh, maybe not. Okay, no, we need to get up. Come on. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. Three, two. Oh, wow. <laughs> Damn, that was... Okay, wait. We got so much. Okay, let's get back. I need to read all about that. First of all, we do have another message. This is Altera HQ. This may be your only communications window. Oh, Altera. We can't send a rescue ship all the way out there. So, Aurora, you're just going to have to meet us halfway. We've uploaded blueprints to the ship's We're computer. We're sandwich run. You in? Uh, yeah, give me a second. Black box data shows the high security terminal in the captain's quarters is still functional. Becky's leaving like in five minutes. All right, well, tell Becky I'll just take the, the regular. The regular? <laughs> yeah, she'll know what I mean. The code should and be... If she doesn't? Just tell her the regular, dude. Okay. The if code... I say regular, she's like, what's the regular? <laughs> what? Come all the way back up here. The code should be 2679. The regular's just a ham and cheese. Okay, would well, you just say ham and cheese? Ham and cheese. Okay. Okay, that was so confusing, but okay. Two six seven nine. For what though? Meet us halfway where? That is my question. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. So we did have a quite. Oh, wow, we got so many new things. <sighs> Here we go. The multi-purpose room, a basic room in which to install a range of different components. And then we also got the moon pool. I think we had that before. Maybe the observatory compartment with three hundred sixty degrees views and very low structural integrity. 
We got a large room, multi purpose glass dome. Okay, quite a few things. The scanner room, we got two out of three. We got a spotlight. We got a status rifle. Freezes physical objects in place. Wow. Okay, oh yeah, this is the laser cutter. This is the one that we need. There was a few of the doors that we went to today that we needed the laser cutter to open. So that's going to be for that. But we need diamond. I've never, I haven't seen that before. That's going to be way further down, I think. High security terminal. Captain's quarters. Before they lost communications, Altera HQ uploaded a set of blueprints to the Aurora main computer. There is a high security terminal inside the captain's quarters, located behind the prawn bay. From which the blueprints should be be accessible. The code is 2679. Interesting. So that's going to be the next step, I guess. So if we take the habitat builder that we made quite long ago. We can now... Yeah, now we can finally make the multi-purpose room. So we can start building a base. That's going to be so much easier for us when we're going to place like all of this stuff. Because we have gotten quite a bit of these as well. We got a counter, trash can, vending machine, bar table... Uh, the wall plant, we got so much, so many different stuff that I would like to build. And we need titanium for all of that. Titanium is very, very easy to find though, so that's not going to be a problem whatsoever. But the, hey, that's interesting, nice. So, I think before the next episode, I will try to build some kind of a base. Uh, some kind of like starter base, we're not going to build too much. And uh, yeah, hopefully that's going to be super nice. But either way, this is where we're going to end off the second episode of Subnautica. And I just want to say every, to every single one... That's made it all the way to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate all of you guys' support. It's amazing. So thank you so much. And I am really enjoying Subnautica so far. I'm having a lot of fun. This is so much better than I expected it to be. So I'm super happy to continue this. And uh, if you do want to see more, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. That really helps the channel. And uh, thank you everyone so much for watching. Thank you for your support. I'll catch you guys in the next one.